So the questions you must answer first to be more productive are, what do you really want? Because our mind only takes a clear picture. If it's a vague picture, our mind doesn't recognize that, doesn't know what to do with this. For example, you want to uh, have more income, more money. So you have, for example, $100,000 income this year. If you ask for more money, for more income, if I give you $1, you have more. So mind doesn't recognize what do you mean by more, to be more productive, to, be, to have more money, to have uh, more income, or whatever your goal is. So clearly define what do you want, and then why you want it. Because if there is no purpose behind what you want, the mind doesn't understand that, doesn't recognize why you want it. So no ambiguity, clearly say what do you want, why you want it, and when you want it. And then you'll get the how. Unfortunately, many of us, when we want something, we go through how first. We get worried. Oh, how am I going to do it? Don't worry about the how. You will get the answer later. When you went to school, you didn't know how to do math. You didn't know how to read. You didn't know how to write. You didn't know how to do anything in science. So don't worry about the how. Now when I go through the, the presentation, you'll see why you get the results in any other aspects of your life, like your financial, your, your career, your job, your relationship, your whatever, mm -hmm. your health, mm -hmm. your wealth. You get the results because you are acting upon some emotions and you can change those emotions. It takes time, however, you can change it. Uh, today I talk about mind brain and body connection and why it's important to know about it. When we talk about brain, we have picture. When we talk about building a car or any object, we have picture and that's how, that's how we think. We think in picture. And there is no picture for mind. And when there is no picture, what happens? Confusion. Um, and later on, I figured out, uh, when I was studying about mind, I found out that Dr. Thurman Fleet uh, in San Antonio, Texas in 1934, he was chiropractor and he was working on holistic medicine and he tried to explain to the patient why it's important to know about mind and how mind affects our body and how body obeys the mind. And he tried to explain it and he found out actually people get more confused because they don't know what's mind. We're not talking about brain, it's different. And then he came out with a stick person. Unfortunately, there is no whiteboard or a PowerPoint here to show you, but uh, he came out with um, two circles, a big circle on the top and a small circle illustrating the body. So the big circle on the top is mind, and he divided that to conscious and subconscious mind. In childhood, our subconscious mind is wide open, and we cannot reject because our cortex is not developed and we cannot reject any idea. Whatever our parents, our siblings, teachers, school, media tell us, we accept it. And then, we, uh, uh, the first thing we uh, learn in childhood, what is it? <coughs> What's the word that we learn? Cookie. Mom. No. 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 <laughs> and what's, uh, yeah, exactly. When we want to do anything, our parents say, no, no, no. And then, what, what's the next thing we learn? Conformity, to look for conformity. And that's why, that's the exact reason why we are not successful, why we are not following our passion, why we are not following what we like to do. Because our subconscious mind has been programmed from childhood, and that program is stay there, it's the default program. So, um, to uh, make it clear how does it work, how mind and brain work, um, after studying for many years, I realized that brain is just like a hardware of your computer. So imagine if you uh, buy a computer from Thor or online from Amazon, um, and there is no any software on it. What happens? Can you use it for uh, email? Can you connect to internet? 
right? No. Um, can you uh, use any uh, like uh, any other document, like writing uh, on Word or creating a PowerPoint? No. Why not? Because there is no software. That's how mind works. Mind is the energy. Mind is the software. Mind actually we thinking with mind, but we using the data from. Uh, it's stored from uh, in our brain, so we use those data from brain and initiate a thought. And why it's very important? Because we think logically, we act emotionally. We act upon our habits, our, our emotion. And our habits, our emotion, uh, have been programmed from childhood. We, as people, are very predictable. And that's why we cannot change our destiny except if we change that default program in our mind. So if you know, if you learn how to change the default program, if you know how to reprogram your mind, how to rewire your brain, you can get any goal. You can achieve any goal in your life. And I learned it, and I'm teaching it for several years. I have students from lower education to medical doctors. I have psychiatrists, psychologists as my coaching student. And when I teach mind, and they say, aha, now I understand how mind works. So since then, I'm teaching it, and uh, I enjoy it. And two years ago, I quit medicine, and now I'm <laughs> full time in coaching and speaking and helping people to understand the power of the mind and use it in any aspect of life. Um, I hope that was uh, useful to you. And if you have any questions, please go ahead. I'm ready. <laughs> Today I want to talk about the pattern of the habit. Why people are so predictable. Why we get the same results over and over. Today I talk a little bit, touch a little bit on paradigm shift and how you can and change your paradigm, how you can shift your paradigm from failure to success. How you can change the pattern of your actions, the pattern of your life to get better results. We have conscious and subconscious mind and our subconscious mind is programmed from childhood. And later on, whenever we accept an idea, it goes to our subconscious mind. And if we continue practicing on that idea, believing in that idea, later on it will be a habit. Unfortunately, many of us, we have negative ideas because our subconscious mind have been programmed from childhood and during school or college or later on, like that. So, why we get the same results? Imagine that you have um, your thermostat at home. I don't know if you, if you are familiar with the mechanism of thermostat, it brings the temperature to the set point. If the room temperature is lower, it brings it up. If the room temperature is higher, it brings it down to that set point. Now let me give you another example to better understand the mechanism of our subconscious mind. How does it work and how we can change that pattern. So for example, if you're in an airplane, Going from here, from Denver, Colorado, to O'Hare International Airport in Chicago. After a certain height, the pilot gives the control to the other pilot. And that other pilot is the smart brain, is the mind of the airplane. That other pilot is the coordinating system of the airplane. So it's just like GPS on your phone or in your car. So the plotted course is programmed in that other pilot. Whenever the airplane get knocked off the plotted course uh, by turbulence or any obstacles, or if even the pilot wishes to go somewhere else, for example, Washington DC instead of O'Hare Chicago, if the pilot has not changed the default program in autopilot, in that coordinating system, 
it doesn't happen. If the airplane gets knocked off the plotted course, the coordinating system picks up that deviation and brings up the airplane to the same plotted course that has been programmed. We have the same system in our subconscious mind, and it's called psycho-cybernetics. Don't worry about the word psycho-cybernetic. It's the same like your thermostat at home. It's the same coordinating system in airplane. Because our subconscious mind is programmed for a definite result, for a certain result, and we act upon those program, the default program in our subconscious mind. That's why we always get the same results. That's why after few weeks, after New Year, or after New Year's Eve, I should say, people go back to the same results. In next uh, day and next days, uh, I will talk more about any aspects of life, the four main pillars of life, health, wealth, love and relationship, and social impact, and tell you about your dreams, your goals, and why, despite of the new resolution list, despite of the goals you have, you get the same results. But for now, I talk generally about the habits, about the patterns that we have. So how you can change the results, except if you change your default program in your subconscious mind, no matter how hard you try, no matter how much program you take, no matter how um, like schooling or education you take or courses you take, it doesn't matter. You go to the same results over and over and over because you have not changed the habits because you have not changed the default program in your subconscious mind. And when we talk about subconscious mind, uh, obviously it's subconscious, it's unconscious. We are not consciously aware of that. But it has been programmed from childhood or during school. So now, if you want to change the results, you need to break the old habit, the old paradigm, shift it. To the new paradigm. Breaking the old habit, it takes a while. It doesn't happen overnight because you have been used to it. So you need to change that habit for success. And it takes usually around 90 days. The decision is made at the scene. The decision made right at that moment that you decide to change something, to change a habit. But breaking the old habit and building the new habit, it takes a while. It takes practice, it takes courage, it takes energy. If you want to change your results in 2017, please listen to this video over and over and find out how your coordinating system, how your psycho-cybernetic system in your subconscious mind works. So today I talk about attitude. What is attitude? And why is it important to know about attitude and keep it positive? Have you seen some people, no matter what happened, they always, they always smile and they have a very optimistic glasses on their eyes. So no matter what happened, they smile. They laugh and they look at the events, whatever happens, in a positive way. And on the other side of this spectrum, there are some people, no matter what good happens, they look at it in a negative way, they have pessimistic glasses, and no matter what you do for them, no matter what happens in their life, no matter how successful they are, they always pissed off and they say, oh, this is not good, this is such and such, why this happened to me all the time? Why me? So this is about the attitude. The attitude actually is the combination of thought, feeling and action. Let me explain it to you. So when you get an idea, when you see something is happening, you generate a thought. A thought. Okay? And this thought, this idea, is in your conscious mind. So your nervous system, your five 
senses in your body take the information from outside world or from your inside your body and send those information to your brain and your brain um, interpret those information and then based on your previous program in your subconscious mind you will decide how you interpret this information how you look at that information so it's about your perspective it's about your perception so if your perception is always negative no matter what happens you look at at the negative side if your perception if your programming in your subconscious mind is positive you look at it positive so between these two uh, extreme of the spectrum uh, many of us look at this positive or negative however most of us look at the events mostly negative because our subconscious mind has been programmed with negative things from childhood so as I said your attitude is the combination of your thought from conscious mind and feeling in your subconscious mind and your action so whatever happens you decide you interpret it first and then uh, it, it compares with your programming in your subconscious mind and with your attitude with your habits with your emotion and then you will decide how to act so uh, it's going to be two uh, responses to uh, the event or whatever happens to you in your life one of them is reaction that most of us actually we react we are not proactive we are not uh, give, giving a thought about whatever happened something happens that action and we react immediately that's the reaction but if you take a deep breath relax and think about what happened and tell yourself this happened to me so this is a signal what I can do about this I am creative I am a smart person I am a human I have brain I have mind how I should respond to this event to whatever happens 